Drunk struck, got rid of the rest of it. So the universe has returned to normality. Yeah, because now, now Terry will be happy. They're going to take her back. <laughs>
Marshal Cartwright, please ex escort the potentate elect into the auditorium. <laughs> service of this temple. You have been chosen by the nobility to be its officers. Hearken to these lessons. Election makes one eligible for installation, but installation is required before you can exercise the duties and the prerogatives of the office to which you have been elected or appointed. Installation is not just a matter of form. It is the solemn engagement under oath that one elected or appointed to office will serve selflessly, honorably, and in accord with the principles of the order so that he will thereby earn the honor and the respect to which he aspires. Our temple will prosper to the extent that you look to its interests instead of your own. You will earn honor only to the extent that you serve honorably, because honorable service is the measure of leadership. You will merit respect only to the extent that you observe your duties, because duty is the criteria for leadership. Let us be reminded of the Shriner's Creed. Shriners believe in God, and that he created man to serve his purposes among which is service to others in his name. We believe that the care for the less fortunate, especially children who suffer from burns and crippling disease, is our institutional calling. We are patriots, each willing to serve his country with fidelity and courage. We cherish independence under law and freedom with responsibility. We honor family. We respect our parents, wives, and children. We should instill in our children the tenets of this creed and the heritage from which it emanates. As individuals, we pledge ourselves to the integrity, virtue, and nobility of character. Our intentions will be honorable, our relationships will be trustworthy, and our spirits forgiving of each other. 
As brothers, we offer each other fraternal affection and respect. Together, we will support each other in adherence to this creed so that we and our community will be the better because of our fraternity and its principles. As Shriners, we look beyond ourselves to serve the needs of others, especially children who cannot help themselves. We believe Shriners Hospitals to be the world's greatest philanthropy, and we covenant with each other to support its temple of mercy with spirit, time, talent, and means. Nobles, ambassadors, and aides, you will turn and face the east. We will follow you in all things consistent with Shrine Law and the Shriners Creed. If you depart from the principles of either, you would lead us astray. To these ends and purposes, we must now be obligated. Raise your right hand, state your name in full, and repeat after me. I do solemnly promise and vow that I will faithfully and to the best of my ability, discharge the duties of the office that I will strictly conform to the requirements of Shrine Law and the bylaws of Bansar Temple. You may lower your hand. Divan, you will turn and face your potentate. Acting Marshal, you will escort Lady Angie with Bible in hand to the West. <laughs> Officers, you will retire, remain standing, awaiting 